Welcome to Insights and Collaboration in a Remote World, a day in the life of a CFO. I'm Sandra Larea. I'm a Director, Technical Specialist Manager at Microsoft. In this session, we will discuss CFO priorities, how Microsoft is modernizing finance technologies, we'll do a short demonstration of really what that looks like, and then finally a recap. The movement toward connected business continues to grow and finance teams are relying on intelligent technology for smarter, fast decision making to keep up with the pace and evolving finance trends to gain better visibility into both performance and operations. Business leaders are looking for application experiences that are creatively assembled, suited to users roles and contexts and continuously refined for the most efficient means of getting their job done. Data must be available at their fingertips. Executives typically do not like to log into multiple systems to mine data that is important to running their business. CFOs have stated their core priorities that are key to their business successes include surviving disruption, driving a culture of data, rapid user adoption, executing efficiently, increasing margins, and future agility, investing in growth. Leveraging the most powerful solution an office of finance could have, Microsoft provides an experience for executives and their team members to transact, collaborate, and visualize data efficiently, immersed in the tools they are familiar with, increasing workforce productivity throughout the finance team. Microsoft has taken a focused approach to modernize finance. We are creating modern, unified, intelligent, and adaptable tools and technologies that match finance business needs. We are transforming finance with automated and integrated global financial processes, leveraging predictive analytics and machine learning for intelligent recommendations. And finally, we can leverage our entire Microsoft technology offerings to create an immersive experience for our finance community, bringing data to their fingertips. In today's scenario, the CFO, Sarah, collaborates with her team throughout the day on many different financial topics immersed in the Microsoft platform. To start the day, Sarah turns on her PC and logs into Teams, where she sees a new email from the budget manager, Brad, requesting she review the aggregated budgets that report up through finance. Organizations spend a large amount of time preparing their budgets. Much of the time spent is preparing the view of history and then preparing the budget or forecast using history as an input. The initial budget plan created by Brad was seeded on machine learning as a starting point for the budget. Budget proposals in D365 Finance provide a streamlined mechanism to prepare multiple years of history, analyze the data providing a prediction on what the budget or forecast should look like based on what has happened over time. After going to the conversation within Teams, where Brad has posted the aggregated budget, Sarah can easily launch Excel, the workbook, to view and make updates to the budget. As Sarah's reviewing this, she is also presented with a data connection directly to Dynamics 365. Having this capability, Sarah can very efficiently make her updates to the workbook and then publish those changes, which will then immediately update Dynamics 365 and the information that Brad is reviewing on his end. Sarah continues on her daily activities. And given that it's month end, Sarah immediately wants to move to her CFO dashboard to view the health of her organization as they move towards the close. From her dashboard, Sarah has the capability to view what is going on regarding customers, expenses, income, bank balances. She is also presented with the option to do a natural language query, something like cost of goods sold this year, total revenues this year, profit margin by quarter, and maybe in a bar chart. The natural language query that Sarah efficiently created this ad hoc report can then also be shared with her team, can be downloaded to PowerPoint, can be uh, posted directly into Dynamics 365. Sarah next moves to her financial period close workspace. From this workspace, Sarah can easily view where the team is at across legal entities, 
by functional area, or by person. Sarah will start with looking at what is happening in her US organization. And she can see that they haven't got very far along. They're only at 25% complete. As she moves to status by person, she noticed that Cassie is only completed one task of 29. Sarah can then very easily open up and view the tasks and via the chat within Teams, Sarah can begin collaborating with Cassie to get an up-to-date information on when Cassie will complete her tasks. Continuing in her review for month end, Sarah then moves to her financial reports. Sarah chooses to run the income statement actual versus budget. As she's reviewing the reports, she drills down to view this by the IT department. Within this report, Sarah can see something alerting her that is causing her to want to drill down even further. She sees other expenses of $188,000 for the IT department. Once again, she can access her chat where she has a conversation with Brad because Sarah wants to dig deeper. And Brad conveniently reminds her how she can actually, from this report, continue to drill all the way through to the underlining transactions. And as Sarah continues to do this, she looks to the origin of the transaction and sees that this was for some Surface Pros from their vendor, Fabricam Electronics. Sarah's a bit concerned though, it is month and year end, and she really wants to better understand budget thresholds for her organization. Rather than spending time reaching out to multiple individuals and looking through various systems and reports, she can quickly leverage a chatbot to get the answer she needs. As Sarah begins to collaborate with the chatbot, immediately data will be at her fingertips. Sarah's gonna start with looking at the IT department as that just really raised her attention in the last report she was running. Initially, her chatbot comes back and tells her that the IT department as a whole overall is at 63.39% of threshold of budget. But Sarah would like a little more information. We can get as granular as needed as the chatbot surfaces up the information from Dynamics 365. And here Sarah can see that the miscellaneous expenses she's been seeing in some of her reports, they're at about 62.93% to threshold. So Sarah feels confident that they'll end the year within budget. Another dashboard that Sarah can view information on regarding month end is her financial analysis dashboard. Analytical workspaces such as the financial insights provides rich infographics and visuals that are supported by Microsoft Power BI. Embedded within D365 Finance, these workspaces provide a highly visual and interactive experience for finance users. Users can interact with data by clicking or touching visuals on the page. They can see cause and effect and do simple what if operations without leaving the workspace. Thanks to stunning interactive visuals, finance users will have fun exploring data and discovering hidden trends. For Sarah, she decides to move over to the 12 month income trend income statement. As she's looking at this, Sarah has lots of options here to drill through. She can change the fiscal period, maybe look at multiple legal entities. And as she scrolls down, she notices that in Q2, there's a large expense again for other miscellaneous expenses. And then directly from this dashboard, Sarah can very seamlessly drill through to the underlining transactions, bringing insights to her as to what the expense might be. And from here, she can see that there's a monthly Office Max order for $55,000. Curious really as to what that might be, Sarah can continue once again to drill through the information, drilling all the way through to where maybe one of her folks or the originator of the transaction has attached detail for this. Our key point here is that within clicks, Sarah can easily gain insights regarding the data that she's being presented with. Finally, as part of month end, Sarah moves to her self-service workspace where she can view any workflow request, items needing her approval to move forward for month end. Sarah notices that there are four items waiting, to, uh, waiting for her approval. One of them happens to be another purchase requisition. 
As she drills into the purchase requisition, Sarah can view what this might be for. And once again, she sees more purchases for, in this case, Surface laptops. But looking at the value, she's confident that the IT department will stay within their budget as she's just recently dug into it with her chatbot. Sarah can then approve the workflow and the purchase then can take place. To recap, leveraging the most powerful solution an Office of Finance could have, Microsoft provides an experience for executives and their team members to transact, collaborate, and visualize data efficiently, immersed in the tools they are familiar with, increasing workforce productivity throughout the finance team. Thank you very much for watching Insights and Collaboration in a Remote World, a day in the life of a CFO. I'm Sandra Larea, Director of Technical Specialist Management at Microsoft. Uh -huh.